Good morning, guys. Welcome to day 30 in the miracle book. The one today is God is everything I see because God is in my mind. Lesson 30. God is everything I see because God is in my mind. God is everything I see because God is in my mind. The idea for today is the springboard for vision. From this idea will the world open up before you and you will look upon it and see it, what you have never seen before. And see in it what you, what you have never seen before. Nor will what you saw before be even faintly visible to you. Now that's vision. Today we are trying to use a new kind of projection, quote unquote projection. We are not attempting to get rid of what we do not like by seeing it outside. Instead, we are trying to see in the world what is in our minds and what we want to recognize is there. Thus, we are trying to join with what we see rather than keeping it apart from us. We are one. Okay. Uh, Thus, we are trying to join with what we see rather than keeping it apart from us. That is the fundamental difference between vision and the way you see. Today's idea should be applied as often as possible throughout the day. Whenever you have a moment or so, repeat it to yourself slowly, looking about you and trying to realize that the idea applies to everything you do see now, or could see now, if it were within the range of your sight. Real vision is not limited to concepts such as near or far. To help you begin to get used to this idea, try to think of things beyond your present range, as well as those you can actually see as you apply today's idea. Real vision is not only unlimited by space and distance, but it does not depend on the body's eyes at all. The mind is its only source. To aid in helping you to become more accustomed to this idea as well, devote several practice periods to applying today's idea with your eyes closed. Using whatever subjects comes to mind and looking within rather than without. Today's idea applies equally to both. So once again, lesson 30 in the miracles book. God is everything I see because God is in my mind. God is everything I see because God is in my mind. God is everything I see because God is in my mind. Okay. That was lesson 30. We got freaking four more to go on the miracles book and five more to go on the hope book. Now the hope book is called actually hope realized by Diana A. Allen. And I hope this last 35 days have brought you into a um, appreciation enough of her incredible work that you'll go ahead and find the book and it should be on Amazon. I think it's under 20 bucks. It's worth every cent. Now let's see. The hope for the day word is nurturing. And we're on day 28 for this one. Find out what your gift is and nurture it. That's Katy Perry said that. What's up? Uh, nurturing can be challenging to many. Do you nurture yourself on a regular basis? Really stop and think about it. Self-care. Pass that into actually nourishing which is, yes, it's part of self-care, but once you're able to care for yourself enough to be kind to yourself, to love yourself, appreciate yourself, be aware of yourself enough to actually love yourself, then you can go past it into nurturing and develop your talents, your gifts, regardless of what anything outside of you has to say about it. It's in you. Look within, have that vision of what you're here to do. What do you delight in? What do you enjoy? What nourishes you? 
Many of the people I work with struggle with nurturing themselves. Yet, without nurturing, you become depleted and often exhausted and tired. This is no way to travel through life. And I know that for a fact because the way I stopped my addiction, this daily addiction for 14 years, <laughs> was that I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. <laughs> so yeah, don't wait till you're there. You don't have to wait till you're there. I wish somebody had taught me better tools before then. Your gifts are beautiful seeds within you that only you can nurture and bring forth the fruits. No one can do it for you and no one can take your place. No one can do it for you and no one can take your place. It's your spot, it's your life, it's your body, it's your emotions, it's your mind, it's your thoughts, it's your life. Do it for you, boo. No one can do it for you and no one can take your place. It is your personal responsibility to explore your gifts and nurture them into the beautiful gift for your life. That's a type of responsibility you definitely gotta own. The more you nurture and care for your gifts, the more you are inspired to share the radiant luster and beauty that is emerging through you. You have amazing gifts, nurture them and share them. Daily application. Today, your journal or draw your gifts emerging. What do you look like? What do they look like? And how do you feel when you let them emerge? Share your gifts with another. Nurture your gifts by taking good care of you. One of the ways that I'm nurturing my um, self and, and opening up my gifts is that Russell Brand, which is why I laughed about Katy Perry. Everything's connected, I love it. Okay, Katy Perry was married to Russell Brand. Russell Brand's a really funny actor, it's become an incredibly awesome individual that's giving back through the 12 step program. He wrote a book called Recovery by Russell Brand, which I have had for a few years and, and got back into because he just put out a 12 day plan, if, if I, now you've missed it, but it was only $100. Um, I got to experience the 12 day plan for free for those 12 days and it was incredible. It comes with worksheets and everything and I've never looked at a 12 step program like that before in my life. Um, he made it funny, he made it light, he made it more spiritual and he made it less of a, a crutch. Um, he took out all the spiritual elements out of it and, 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 and pulled all the funny in his life, which is the comedian he had a lot of and as a former massive addict he had a lot of and really put it out there. So I recommend highly if you want, whether it's overeating, whether it's gambling, whether it's addiction, um, nurture the part in you that needs healing by going through some of these materials, like the ones that we're doing today, the Course in Miracle book, the Hope Realized book. Um, Russell Brand is the one I'm recommending here right now for anyone that's dealing with any sort of addiction or, or habitual, um, like something you can't stop doing and it's not good for you and it's killing you so stop it um or depleting your life from the joy that we're wanting to nurture here not deplete and um the other book that i'm rereading that i'm actually completing to read even though i had it years ago when i started my uh, trying to get off addiction get try, trying to get off my addiction bit um was the right recovery for you right recovery and it's by a lady named Marilyn Bradford. Uh, part of the Access Consciousness um, team, I guess you could say. Uh, so yeah, it's the new year. I know we're into February now. Welcome to February 1st. Um, but it's not too late. What is time anyway? If you had an intention to heal yourself enough to be able to depart from an addiction, and it's now February 1st and you're like, I screwed up, I'm gonna just, you know. no, every day is new. Take these tools that you're hearing about here, if you're here to listening to these, give them a try. You can't build up momentum towards your freedom if you don't give it a try. Anyway, I love you guys. Tomorrow we're doing laughter in the Hope Book and Lesson 31 in the Miracle Book. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Namaste.